Mitch McConnell went on Fox News, and uh, he's showing everybody here the standard line that Republicans are going with in the Biden era. This is how they're going to attack Biden. This is how they're going to attack the Democrats. Take a look, and then we'll laugh and break it down. Representative Jayapal is correct that all five progressive causes are checked off in this bill. What, what do the lives of Americans look like if that's the truth and this gets through? Well, it's an introduction of socialism into America, done on a one-party basis in a Congress that's virtually tied. You know, Senate's 50-50, the House has a couple of seat Democratic majority. They didn't get a mandate to do this stuff. They're not going to have any Republicans help them do this stuff. This is a left-wing dream of Bernie Sanders, fulfilled, uh, they hope, uh, on a very narrow vote with no, you know, no room to spare, jam this down the throats of the American people. What keeps you up at night over what's happening under a Biden administration? You've known this president for many, many, many years in the Senate. You know, look, I, I like the president personally. Uh, he was never a moderate, and this administration is in no way moderate. Bernie Sanders may have lost the nomination, but he won the war over what hmm. the program of the Democrats is going to be. This is socialism for America. It needs to be stopped. No Republicans will support it. Hopefully, there will be one or two brave Democrats who will stop this from happening. That is amazing in so many ways. So, I mean, this is all they have, guys. All they have is to close their eyes, cover their ears, and scream, Socialism! 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 Ah! Big government. Big government bad. Socialism bad. This is not landing like perhaps it did uh, in generations prior. It's just not landing. Not landing at all. Um, if you look at the polling on this stuff, especially with younger folks... Socialism is in the same ballpark as capitalism. It might even be a little more popular among young people than capitalism is. Sure, with like, uh, you know, senior citizens, they still have that same gut effect and, and knee-jerk reaction when they hear socialism, like it's definitely negative, but it's not the boogeyman that it once was, especially because capitalism very clearly has sort of destroyed people. Look at what happened with COVID. We simply didn't have the system in place and the mechanism in place to protect people and to take care of them and to do the right thing when COVID hit. People sort of learned, oh, the system's a joke. Billionaires are getting trillions of dollars more wealthy during the pandemic and regular people are getting hosed and obliterated and becoming homeless and there's loopholes in the eviction moratoriums and things of that nature. So it's not going to work. I love when he says, well, the Democrats don't have a mandate. Biden won the presidency, Democrats control the Senate, and Democrats control the House. And you're saying Democrats don't have a mandate? If that's not a mandate, what is? If, if Mitch McConnell was in the same position the Democrats were in, so if you had a Republican president, a Republican Senate, and a Republican House, you know what he would say? Mandate. Clear mandate. We won at every step. By the way, we also had a special election where everybody put it on the line. And the Democrats said, hey... You vote for us, you're going to get a $2,000 stimulus check. The Republicans were like, <laughs> Maybe Trump is for it, but the rest of us, I'm not. But maybe, okay, but I'm not going to talk about it, even though I'm gonna, I, now I have to pretend to be for it, but I'm not going to talk about it that much. What happened? Democrats won. They literally said, hey, if the Democrats win, Bernie Sanders is going to be the budget chairman. So you have to vote Republican. And then everybody went out and vote, voted Democrat. So, it is a mandate. That's exactly what it is. And if Republicans had these numbers, it would, they would say it's a mandate. It's, that's always the way it works. When we win, it's a mandate. When they win, it's a fluke, and they shouldn't do anything. Um, then he calls the agenda a left-wing dream. I mean, that's so hilarious. Guys, how is this a left-wing dream when every other developed country not only has these things, but they go further than us? It's not a left-wing dream. It's called basic developed industrial society basic civilization stuff but mitch mcconnell's too busy representing corporations 24 7 he thinks that's what his job is to help corporate america that's what he thinks his job is guys he bragged remember that video we showed you where he bragged he's like you're gonna get more money but i didn't vote for it nobody in my party voted for it we're against giving you money it's amazing that he's just handing that argument over to the opposition 
and the, and they don't even know how to pounce on it. That's the craziest part too, is that he's saying, I'm a terrible politician and I will make terrible arguments. And the Democrats are like, we're not going to pounce on that. What? Um, he says Joe Biden was never a moderate. Never a moderate. He voted for the Iraq war, the Patriot Act, NAFTA, the crime bill, the bankruptcy bill. Half of his views are right-leaning. Never a moderate. You know what? McConnell's right, but not in the way that he thinks he is. You're right. Never. He's not a moderate. He's right-leaning. He's conservative. He's a conservative Democrat in many ways. So, yeah, he's not a moderate. But it's not because he's a left-wing radical. It's because he's right-wing. Hilarious. And then uh, he makes the case that Bernie won the war on policies here. I wish, buddy, if Bernie won the war on policies, we would be fighting for Medicare for all and a, and a living wage. And he dropped the living wage. Uh, Biden dropped the living wage under, you know, minimal pushback. He didn't really fight for it in his own caucus. And uh, he's not, not only is he not doing Medicare for all, he's not even doing the public option. So I wish Bernie won the war on the policies. He didn't. But, but, um, the things that they are attempting to do now in this reconciliation bill are all positive things. And McConnell just wants to call it socialism and dismiss it. Well, what are we talking about? Universal pre-K, child care, two years free community college, this is all stuff the American people love. They love it. They love it. So, I wish, I wish that was the case, that Bernie won on the policies. I wish it was all of his policies. But if the Democrats were intelligent, what they would do is push back on McConnell here and be like, correct. Correct. You're accusing us of pushing for policies that Americans support overwhelmingly. That's right. And thank you for admitting that you're against it. And thank you for having no arguments other than, I'm scared socialism. <laughs> this is all he's got. And if the Democrats can't win on this front, they're totally hopeless. By the way, the thing that the more intelligent Republicans are doing is they're talking endlessly about the culture war to try to distract from the economic stuff. That's what they're doing. McConnell's too dumb to play that game, so he just goes he goes right down the economic path and makes himself look like an ass. But the more intelligent Republicans are like, we know we can't talk about the economic stuff, because even though Biden's center-right on that, that's way better than far-right on it. So, you know, we can't come out and say, we're against you going to college, and we're against universal pre-K, and, you know, we're against whatever, another round of stimulus checks, or the child tax credit is the big one. That's another thing that's really going to help regular people. You know, the child tax credit. They can't just say we're against that because they would lose that argument all day, every day. So the other uh, Republicans are like, Mr. Potato Head, something. Um, Dr. Seuss, something else. Talk about uh, trans bathrooms. Bah, focus on this. Because they know they can't win in the economic realm. McConnell has been in Washington since roughly 1612, and he can't help himself. So he's going right down the path, making an ass of himself, and has the nerve to argue that Bernie is controlling Biden. I wish Bernie was controlling Biden. That would be awesome. But no, uh, Biden is moderate or center-right, and it just so happens that moderate politics or center-right politics looks like Noam Chomsky when you're Mitch McConnell and you're off the spectrum on the right. 